Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This one is on Darkovia Part 4. Let's jump over to Darkhurst. If you did not see my last video, I did tell you guys that this whole saga has been reset from the very beginning. And the reason why this is done is because of the way that the new quest system works. So anyways, we're going to be starting this off and then I'm going to be showing you guys some of the new stuff, but I'll be skipping through the next two hours right up to the new stuff. Two hours later. Finally completed the quests in the Darkhurst, the Darkovia Forest and the castle. So now I get to head into the werewolf alcove now if you guys did not see my other video i was showing you minor spoilers in there this video is going to be showing a lot more spoilers so if you have not played through it and you want to play through it before you watch this then that is recommended this video is not a walkthrough so i'm not going to be going through the entire thing but i am going to be showing some of the stuff i didn't show in my other video some of these cutscenes are absolutely epic. I really love the style of these things. There we go. I got some capstones. Now that's from ranking up. So it took me, I had already, I was at like, I think I was somewhere around here when I started the Darkovia saga. So I got all the way up and I got myself my first, uh, well, actually, no, I believe I've got capstones already. Let me just check that. Okay, so I've gotten, I've leveled up twice basically, so I'm at 40 capstones, but it did take me almost until now to get a full level. This story really builds up the Blood Moon Saga that's going to be coming, and that is really cool. I've got my fingers crossed for some amazing werewolf related outfits and possibly a travel form werewolf that would be amazing especially if you could fight in it as i said in my last video i really like these areas you're going to be getting access to new dungeons the downside about these dungeons are they are scaled unlike this area which is nice that the area is not scaled but the dungeons are on the plus side this dungeon is actually a lot of fun i like the idea behind it because it's really different than the other dungeons in the game Make sure you always grab these things because you're going to be needing those for the new armor sets. If you guys are having trouble with that dungeon, don't worry because I will be making a guide. I love how this area has all these different rooms. It's really cool. This is the feast room. You're going to find several different locations in this new area. And it's some of the places are really nice. Like this place right here. I love this map. Wait, can I get up to the waterfall? No way. You can go right underneath it. That is cool. Now, I don't want to spoil anything ahead, but if you take this one sentence right here, the Eye of Night, Blood Moon, Power of Vampires and Lichens, that sounds like we may be introduced to a Werepire. We also have mention of another orb, which is something to do with the Guardian story quests. There are a lot of corridors and different exits and entries. It makes this place kind of like a maze if you didn't know where to go. This has got to be one of my favorite places. Just the ambiance of this place is really cool. I know I said this in my last video, but I really like this guy's armor. Now after playing through this whole thing, I got to say there is one major downside and that is the fact that you have to wait for the next part. This story really has a nice progression and it sucks when it ends because you really want to know how it concludes. Now when you're done the main story quests, you're not actually finished all the quests in this area. There are some side quests that you can do. You've got this guy right here and he's got the fix is in. Now this is a series of quests, 10 or 11 of them. And when you get to the end of all of these quests, you're going to be unlocking a new title. This is a title that you're going to be getting right here. Now, this information is based off of the PTR, so I don't know if the title's changed on the live servers or not. You can also head to the Feast Hall where you can talk to the chef, and he's also got a quest in there as well that you can do. I have not finished this one, so I don't know what you get for beating it, but you've got some other quests that you can do, which is really cool. 
you can talk to the werewolf librarian and you're going to be finding access to a new shop as well as crafts and a new quest this is a repeatable quest that you can get so grab this and then you can run this dungeon right here i did show you this in my last video but i will just show you the hoods which are pretty cool this is the hood for that one you've also got this weapon right here now these all cost gold and they are 480 power obviously meant for the lower levels you've also got these weapons here did they nerf that yeah they did on the ptr this was a much higher level but it has been nerfed now obviously that makes sense because the required level is level 26 you will be needing 6,000 lunar fragments to craft this thing but unfortunately it looks exactly like the other one so if you're not going for the stats you could just buy the gold version now you do have some other variants of the armor this one with a bluish one and then you have a blood one as well which is obviously red and then last you have the lunar now you're probably wondering why these items are not very strong compared to what we already have well that is because they are going to be coming out with challenges and that is what's going to be giving us the better items and other stuff like that but what do you guys think of this storyline let me know in the comments below for the set of the day, I'm going with this one right here. I thought it was very festive and I liked how the hood matched the outfit. It's a very simple look, but sometimes less is more. And that is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and keep those swords swinging.